Hi, I'm Deanna and I am a blogger with thriftingdenver.org and I thought I would show you a tablescape today for Hanukkah and Hanukkah came early this year so you need to hurry and go to Goodwill and put together a beautiful tablescape and you can do it for a fraction of the retail price. What we, I started with are chargers, they're silver and they're 49 cents a piece. So I happened to pick up eight even though I only did a service for six here, you can always use them for a million different things. So we started with the silver charger and then my china pattern actually was at Goodwill also. And I picked up another service for 12 at the Parker Goodwill. I, I think I paid 49 cents per plate. And even if it doesn't match your china pattern, you could go all white or white with silver or white with gold. They have all different kinds of china to choose from and it kind of looks really cute if you mix and match. But we're doing Hanukkah today so I'm sticking with silver, white, and blue. And so because it's Hanukkah you use a menorah and believe it or not Goodwill has a lot of Hanukkah items but I picked this menorah up at the Goodwill on Bellevue and it's restoration hardware and I purchased it for three dollars and originally the price tag on the bottom says 25 and it's beautiful and I just need to shine it up it's silver and once I shine it up and put the candles in it'll be beautiful but you don't even have to buy a menorah you can make a menorah out of a lot of different things I use a vase here from Goodwill six dollars and also I just put some little Christmas balls in because you can use them for Hanukkah, doesn't have to be for Christmas, and then just added the candles. Everything you see here on this entire table is from Goodwill, and I have a wood table, it's just a farmhouse table, but I just covered it with kind of like butcher paper, the kind of teacher paper that you can unroll, you can buy it at the teacher supply, or you could actually use butcher paper. But another way to make a menorah is to just pick up mismatched candlesticks all in glass and really what I do is I put them in the dishwasher and I spent you know a dollar a piece or 50 cents so if one breaks or if it didn't work out it's okay and then another good idea I picked these up last year after Christmas some are silver and some are gold and it's a Christmas decoration but you can use it for Hanukkah you just put a little light and it flickers and these are great for kids or for your front window so you don't set your house on fire and another inexpensive idea I was going to show you are, um, it's easy to find Christmas colored candy and sometimes it's hard to find Hanukkah colored candy because they don't make it. But you can buy these York pieces and it might be loud, but they look so pretty in a dish. And of course these are Goodwill dishes and you can find it in the candy aisle and it's a great idea. And if you want to you could create this into a Christmas tablescape, you could make it into a New Year's tablescape. And then if you're when you're done, you could if you don't want it, you could redonate it to Goodwill. When you're going through your holiday decorations this year and you have a box that you don't use, take it back to Goodwill because there are other people that would love to use it. So not only can you purchase your items at Goodwill, you can bring them back for a donation and then Goodwill can use those for our community. So you're recycling you're saving a ton of money. It still looks really beautiful and shopping at Goodwill is really fun. It's, there are treasures to be found there. My little J. Crew beaded sweater and this tuxedo shirt. I bought this in the boys department and this in the women's department and I think the two together, maybe seven bucks. So have a great time. There are 10 or more, actually I think there's 12 Goodwill stores in the Denver area alone. They're opening another coming up in a few weeks. So go to goodwilldenver.org, click on find your local store and just go shopping and see what you find. I think you'll be surprised.